let's shift to nutrition. Where have you struggled in your nutrition? Oh man, um, my principal struggle with nutrition for sure is that I have an insatiable sweet tooth. Like since I left college, I've been not really like, I don't drink too much because my fiance, Shana, she basically doesn't drink at all. So, I mean, there's times when I go like months without really having a drink. And that's not like something I'm trying to do. It's just something that doesn't like, I just don't. Uh, sure. And I eat pretty healthy for the most part, but I just can't, I can't not have sweets. Like even, you know, I, I remember reading this interview with Ramon Julian. He's unquestionably one of the best climbers who ever lived. Um, and he has one of the most impressive resumes of almost anyone. And he's like an inch or two shorter than I am. So I'm always like inspired by him. Um, <laughs> but I remember, I remember hearing an interview with him and uh, he said that he hadn't had chocolate for like, it was something like 10 years or something like that, you know, because he oh was on up circuit and he was like, and you know, he felt like that was a really important part of his performance. Um, and I just remember thinking like, there's no carrot that you could hang in front of me that would possibly let me get to that point, like to not have sweets for 10 years. Like, I just don't think I could do it. Um, what is it? Like, what's your go-to? What are, what are you, what's your kryptonite sweet? Okay. So my go-to is quite simple. Actually, I get a, I get a bag of chocolate chips that's really meant for baking, but I just like to eat the chocolate chips. And then I have like a jar of peanut butter and I basically just, yeah, I'm just yeah. making my own little Reese's peanut butter cups, basically in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Like I just do it. Like I'm, I feel what you're saying here. Like my Achilles is 1000% sweet, specifically donuts. Um, but I'll hit the oh, semi-sweet yeah. chocolate chips out of the bag. No problem, yeah, dude. Sure. <laughs> all, all day long. Yeah. So, um, I, like, how do you strike that balance, you know, in your own life with eating really well most of the time, but you know, maybe indulging every, whenever you feel like it, or is, do you have kind of a reward program how do you how do you handle that man i and this is why i say that this has been a struggle because like it's the only thing in my life i mean from a food or substance perspective like nobody who's a professional athlete should be eating like an entire cake every night uh <laughs> except for maybe those power lifters because they need to eat like 14 calories a day. that's right so part of it's that but another part of it is i do actually notice that when i go in too heavy on the sweets the inflammation is worse Mm -hmm. Um, I, and I for sure notice that like if I'm training, especially, and I have a few nights where there's like some extra birthday cake laying around and I go heavy on that, then I will notice my joints creaking a little bit more than normal. So there's like health reasons why I would tr want to try to resist a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I've, and I've never been, been one to say that you should not have dessert because I think dessert's amazing. So, but what I'm trying to say, and this, this is what I was getting at is that there are literally days when I'm like, okay, like my joints feel a little creaky. I'm really going into like heavy project mode. Like I'm going to try and resist the sweets for like a week and just see how that goes. And I, I'll be saying that. And then at some point during the day, I'll find myself just like having a handful of chocolate chips. And I'm almost like, like it feels out of control. You know, I'm like, oh, someone possessed my body and like made me go and do this. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> I didn't even make the conscious decision to eat it. It's just like, there so i just like took it you know and had some so um i feel that yeah so so anyway so the, the the way forward for me is not total abstinence the way forward is just to just to yeah have a little every day and just like enjoy it and just try and you know balance it as much as i can it's like for me i'm i'm just gonna have some sweets dude and it's gonna be okay like you know what i mean it's not gonna it's not gonna kill me and there are plenty of other sacrifices in my life that i make to climb well and it's like you can't make all of them because at the end of the day, you're going to climb really poorly if you're just like an unhappy person. Hell yeah. You're here yeah. to that. I mean, what if, what if the, what if the key to 9B plus was just eating more chocolate chips? I mean, I would be climbing 9C on site, dude. <laughs> that was <would be> it. <laughs> Uh, that's sick. Yeah, quick shout out for today's sponsor, which is Fizzy Vantage Nutrition, who, by the way, sponsor Jonathan Segrist and 50 other incredible climbers from Alex Magos to Paige Clausen and Natalia Grossman and Daniel Woods. Basically, they're helping the best climbers in the world to level up their training and performance 
by way of nutrition. I love their collagen, I love their protein. Everything they make is science-backed and proven to enhance performance. Check it all out on their website and use code STRUGGLE for 15% off at checkout. I love this stuff. Let's get back to JSTAR. Um, and so in, in Shayna, your, your fiance, um, she's a nutritionist, is that right? She is, yeah, she's a, she's a certified nutrition therapist. Yeah, so uh, how is that? What are the pros and cons of having, you know, probably the most um, cutting edge information and guidance right there right. under the roof? Overall, it's absolutely a major pro, uh, especially because she's an unbelievable cook. And um, so I get to benefit a lot from that very often. I've seen it. She posts very mouthwatering, like... Yes. Dude, dinner, um, food, porn. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, I'm I'm very lucky. Although when I go on a trip to Spain alone or whatever, then I end up, you know, eating just like cabbage and and potato chips pretty much the whole time. Um, but no, it, it's it's really awesome, and she's really helped me in so many ways because I have been a vegetarian uh, since I was 18, um, and I just turned 37, so almost 20 years. And um, there are times, including right now, when I do eat a small amount of fish. Um, so I'd say, you know, let's say five years of those 20 years, I've also been a uh, pescatarian. Um, but the overarching theme is that I don't really eat very many, if any, meat products. And now, and Shana is totally vegan. That's why I'm saying all this is re uh, relevant. So Shana is, is she has definitely helped me um, get like the proper amount of nutrients and protein and stuff like this without eating um many if any animal products so that's been really really cool and then it's also just cool to you know run questions by her if i'm worried about or curious about like oh i think i could use some extra of this in my diet or this in my diet like how should i go about it you know so um no it's definitely hugely beneficial i think especially for athletes that are trying to cut back on their meat intake, which I think we all should just environmentally. Um, it's awesome to have guidance, you know? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm, you know, I've been um, vegetarian myself for 15 years. My entire family's, but my kids are vegetarian. And, and, you know, the good news is today in this modern day, there's, there's so many options, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be a grilled cheese for every meal. Um, so <laughs> yeah, totally. yeah, you know, there's great, there's great vegan and vegetarian proteins out there. Do you do a lot of like shakes or supplements or, you know, how do you look at kind of whether it's protein or collagen or anything else, you know, like what, what's, do you have a, a kind of a routine that you like in that world? Definitely. Yeah. So I started as an athlete with Fizz Advantage, um, maybe three years ago ish. Uh, and they make like unquestionably the best vegan protein powder on the market that's become something especially during training blocks that i have every day like for in the middle of the day as like a smoothie or you know just put it in water or in almond milk or something like that but i have like pretty pretty standard meals for the most part like in the morning especially if i'm not or with shannon if i'm on a climbing trip or whatever in the morning i'll have like some vegetables um, mixed in with eggs and then normally some tortillas, like basically make little breakfast burrito things. Um, and then during the middle of the day, if I'm cragging, I'll normally take like a jelly or some fruit or some bars, like it kind of changes every day. But then at the end of the cragging day or at the end of the training day, I always have a, um, a protein smoothie. So that's like how I get the protein in the middle of the day. And then normally for dinner, I'll have some vegetables some rice some noodles um and then some protein that could be from like my my choice fish is canned sardines um but if i'm not going to eat fish then i would have tofu or like you know tempeh or something like that um so that's like pr honestly like most of my days go something like that and give or take you know if i'm in france i'm going to be eating bread every meal or you know if i'm in italy i'll mix in some pasta or whatever but it like more or less, I just try and eat a bunch of fresh fruits, vegetables, carbs, and then mix in like, you know, some protein from eggs or uh, the protein powder or a can of fish or whatever. Like a handful of chocolate chips. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then there's, 
Well, it's only assumed that after each of the three normal meals, you have a dessert, and then right. at night before before bed, you have dessert.